everyone. Thank you for being here at my show, Emerge. I am Paula Echeverry, and I speak about neuroscience transformation from actually my own transformation that I did years ago uh, where I lost my hearing. And I actually started, you know, researching the brain and what happened because these changes in my life, losing my hearing actually brought back uh, many things in my mind. Uh, stress, anxiety, and many things that I didn't know how to handle. So I decided to learn more about the brain, neuroscience, and just go back to school and take, you know, take a look of all the tools that the mind offer you to get better every day. And that's what I did. I wrote a book called Emerge, like my show, where I, you know, speak about my experience with neuroscience and all these challenges that I had. But I also have beautiful woman who helped me with some interviews in the book that they're amazing people and they show also their challenges in the book and that's great so I just wanted to let you know a little bit more about who I am, who I am because my first show actually I spoke about this I spoke about my experience my life and I also connect my experience with neuroscience and all these challenges I had how did I lower my stress and my anxiety? How did I do, how did I, you know, do all these things that they really helped me using my mind with no drugs, no, you know, pretty much no, nothing else. So you can actually have, you know, your mind work for you when you need it. So that's what I did. And I want to pick your brain too in this show. I want to show you the tools that you need to have a better life to lower your stress, to be more effective at work, and to do many things that you can just, you know, take advantage of your life. I know many people, they really do care about their bodies, but why not care about your mind? People need to care more about their mind because, you know, their cognitive, you know, performance lowers after the years. And we see lot, lots of people with Alzheimer and Parkinson's and all these things that they actually affect the brain. And if they probably do some brain training, some kind of brain training, they will have avoided that. Or they probably did some, you know, good habits in their life. We could avoid this. And that's what I want to bring today. Uh, in my first show, I spoke, like I said, about my story. I spoke about resilience, which I think is the most important thing that a human should have because resilience help us to overcome challenges and resilience is something that is not the same on everyone, you know? So it gets really affected by childhood trauma and, you know, many things in the mind, like I explained in my last show. But today I want to be a little less serious and I want to pick your brain too, but with some gadgets. So, you know, we are 2023 we have so many gadgets that came out and they're some of my favorites. I try many things I have to tell you just to see what works because I am very serious about this. I never take anything, you know, and recommend it to anyone unless I tried it and I know that it works. So it's very important to know this. And there are many advances in neuroscience. You see so many speakers right now, doctors speaking about the brain, neuroscientists like Joy Dispenza, Andrew Huberman from Huberman Lab, and all these people, they're giving us so much information that you can use every day for a better life. So please take a look at these scientists that I'm telling you, a neuroscientists and their books, they're amazing. So... Um, I want to talk about that because I was actually looking at Gabor Mate is one of the, actually he's a doctor and he speaks also about childhood and, you know, trauma, but he also speaks about the effects of stress in the body and trauma and all these things, you know, that all illnesses in the mind, well, in the body are created in the mind pretty much. So if you are sick or you're stuck at your minute, you feel so many things in your body you might want to check what's going on inside here. So I was really interested about something that came out. It's been years, years and years of research about neurofeedback. And neurofeedback is a way of training the electrical activity in your brain. So let me tell you more about this. You know, we are all energy. We are electrical activity in our brain. 
you know, you know they're brain waves. Brain waves, they're electrical impulses in your brain, in between your neurons, you know, when they connect. So we want to train our brain waves for being healthier, for having less stress, less anxiety, for having, you know, more focus. Uh, even kids can do this. So I came up to this company, I came up with this company called Mendy, and they're actually in Europe. There's a, a company that they're pretty amazing. And I came, they came out with this gadget. It's called Mendy Band. So you can see it right here. Sorry. Uh, you can see. And it actually has some sensors that they work in your brain. They measure your brain waves. You see this black part right here? This black part right here measures your brain waves in your frontal cortex right here. So you put it on, let me put it just quickly. Uh, right here, you can see it really needs to touch this part on top of your eyebrows. Uh, when you put it on, uh, actually this part sensors your blood flow, it sensors your oxygenation in your brain, and it helps to predict you know, your, your electrical activity in your brain. So when you do that, it helps also for many things to train your brain for anxiety, for focus, like I said, for many things. So neurofeedback is actually a pretty amazing thing because um, it's, it, rep it responds to our neural activation. So I want to, I want you guys to check this. There's a video that I'm going to put right here, right now. People really need to get into this. The neural training is actually, you know, the future. You need to train your brain for better health. Here is a little of my Mendy. I want to show you guys the little ball. This is the game where you that you use when you're using a band and that trains your mind. So you really need to move that ball with your head. So you see the ball goes up and down. You move it only with your head. There's no controls. There's nothing that you have to use, just your brain. So this band is measuring right now uh, your brain you know, oxygenation and your blood flow, and also, you know, interprets all this information and puts that into, you know, some information that you can look at the end. So let me just go back uh, to the end. And you see, it's just calibrating, it's checking my brain right now. It's saying, you know, all my blood flow, my things, you know, everything on. And then after this, when you're done, uh, you get, some results and it's really cool because I like you know the different things that you can do uh, in the app uh, and you can see actually the journal you can see the scores that you get every time you use it you get a score that is higher lower when I started I started on the 50s and I was really you know, trying to get it higher, and I did. So I need to get it a lot higher, of course. You know, it's brain training. So I'm going to keep using it. But uh, I think it's really exciting. So when you use it, it really, you know, challenges you a little bit. So every time you want to do better and better, and you kind of find ways to, you know, to find, to make the ball go up and down. So that's really exciting. And I think that's what keeps you, engage for brain training, which is great because the benefits are amazing. So let me tell you more about this other app that I use it's called Brainwave Research. And like I said, it's all about the brainwaves. Brainwave Research actually has a lot of a team of experts that they came out with all these brainwaves and meditations that you can just sit down and listen to it without even meditating. You know, people are very afraid of meditation, I know. So when you think about meditation, you don't have to just stop your thoughts. You have to just put your headphones, get the app, and just go in the app. I'm going to put some screenshots right here about this. And the app, what it does, it has all these beautiful things. It has guided meditations. It has music. It has all these um, beats that you can hear that really, you know, it's going to make you feel better for concentration. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to improve your brain function. It's going to lower your stress and anxiety. So there are two types of meditations in brainwave research. One is for the brainwave club. 
for the people who really want to take care of the brain waves. So you want to focus, like said, attention, sleep, you know, you want to meditate, you want to be focused or engaged. There are different things. So their brain waves actually, they're very different ones. So if you are their delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. So each one of those brain waves actually help us with different things. So um, delta actually help us with sleep. So you want to have better sleep, you want to go into delta meditations and brain waves. And actually, when you put this on in the app, you're not going to feel anything. You're just going to hear some music. And under the music is going to be, you know, it's going to be something that's going to help your brain, you know, to train your brain waves. So the cool thing about this is that there's a lot of research and there's a big team that they actually came up with this. And I think it's an amazing company. Brainwave, you know, brainwave training is something that we really need to use. It doesn't cost much. The app is super cheap. Secondly, also, you know, when you train our brainwaves, we're not taking drugs. We're not doing any special treatments. It doesn't interfere with anything in our lives. Is really easy to use. You can just use it 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, day or night, whenever you want to use it. And it's a pretty amazing thing to have, you know, in your phone. And, you know, to just relax. I normally do it at nighttime because that's the time where I really try to, you know, relax and just go in my zone, you know, my zen. And I relax with my brain waves. So that's amazing because I also have, as you know, hearing loss. So um, this app is great because they have guided meditations, but they have also, you know, music and things that they're sounds that are easier for people with hearing loss like me to hear. So it really helps me to go deep in my meditation and concentrate more. So every time that I feel a thought coming to my mind, I just keep let it all go and keep listening to the music or the sounds. Like the rain is something really soothing. I really love the rain really relaxes me. And there's meditations with that, with sounds of the rain, with music, uh, with, you know, beautiful things. So you want to take a look at these. They're all on my website, in this website right here. So Neuro Mom CEO and I name it Brain Gym, which is the area where you should look for these gadgets that I'm recommending. And I want to recommend also a couple more things, but they're not actually gadgets. They're things that I use too, and they're great because they come from natural sources. One of them where is called Ashawanda. I'm going to put the name right here. Ashawanda is actually a root, you know, it's actually a plant that it really helps you mood to enhance your mood. And uh, it's actually natural. There's no side effects to ashawanda. But if you're under any medication, you always want to check with your doctor, right? So, but it, it comes from Ayurveda, which is actually, you know, a, it's an amazing, you know, plant that is natural and it really enhances your mood and cognitive capacities. It protects your circulatory system. It helps with many things. So I really wanted to recommend this under the tools that I have under my sleeve because it's one of the things that I use and I recommend it to other people and they know it works. And lastly, I also, you know, there's so much research about lion mane. Lion mane is also like ashawanda. So, and it really helps also your cognitive capacity and your brain. So if you really want to train your brain and, you know, have most, you know, cognitive capacity, focus, attention, you want to be, you know, at your top shape, then you should take Lion Mane too. I use one that actually I mix it with a coffee. It's like a, it's called Baia, B-A-I-A. And I mix it with my coffee with some milk and it's good. The ashawanda, they sell it in pills or I took it in gummies because it's really, it is really good and I really like it. And those are all the tips that I have for you. Thank you very much for being here. And the next time I'm going to have an interview with Nikki Dubois, which is, she's a, you know, really cool model. And she's also a writer. She's a clinical psychology student. 
and she's super smart. She will help us to understand the brain and she will help us also with, you know, eating disorders because she went through a lot of that when she was younger in her modeling career. And I want to talk to her about this because, you know, there are many things that people don't know about eating disorders. And we're going to talk about these. We're going to give you some advice. Um, she's going to be amazing. So I want you to be here with me uh, next episode. And thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye. So after the exercises that I gave you for somatic resources that you can use, like the tapping or the ring, you know, there are also things that you can do to train your brain and your awareness. You can be more aware by changing routines in your life. For example, look at somebody's eyes, what color they are. Uh, you know, use the other hand when you are doing something. For example, you usually cut, you know, something with the same hand. So try the other hand instead. Brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand. They also think of a story that you know and change it. Change the narrative of that story. Um, problem solving, that's good for that. So, uh, and also read aloud because when you read, your brain is, you know, is being primed and it's gonna remember more what you are thinking. So, like I said, those things are really good for your brain is you wanna start little by little doing little changes and then your memory, your attention and your awareness will improve. Okay, thanks so much. <music>